gospel that we bring to you even this morning. The word gospel means good news. The good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, beginning at verse 3, For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. This is the gospel in summary form, that Christ Jesus died for our sins, and that he was buried, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. The gospel is the good news of the person and work of Jesus Christ. This is what the gospel is. The Lord Jesus Christ is the gospel. He died for our sins according to the scriptures. Who is Jesus? The Bible tells us that Jesus Christ is God, the second person of the Trinity, the only begotten Son of God. The Lord Jesus Christ is very God of very God, who in the fullness of the time became a man and came into the world. The eternal, glorious Christ became a man, and he was born of the Virgin Mary. And why did he come? He came to save sinners. The Apostle Paul says in 1 Timothy, this saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. This is the good news of the gospel that we bring to you today, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. This is not a new message, but this is the same message proclaimed by the Old Testament, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. When Jesus died on the cross, he took our punishment upon himself. We have broken the law of God and Christ took our punishment on the cross and paid the penalty for our sins with his own blood. And then he was buried and on the third day he rose again in triumphant glory. This is the Savior, the only 